Matt Singer. Yum. Hello, and welcome to another Matt Singer video. My name is Dr. Eric McDowell, and today we're going to talk about division. There is a link in the description below to an earlier video in which we discussed how to use pictures to divide one number into another. In today's video, we're going to accomplish three things. First, we will provide a brief review of the process of picture division that shows how to divide small numbers. Then, we'll discuss a notion that has become known as exploding dots to show how picture division can be adapted to divide larger numbers. And finally, we will show by example how this adapted version of picture division can be used to explain why the process of long division that is taught in grade school actually works. At any time during this video, please consider subscribing to this channel by, by hovering over the red box at the, at the bottom right corner of your screen and, and clicking subscribe. Doing so will help to build this channel and will also allow you to be notified when future Matt Singer videos are posted. Now, let's talk about picture division, exploding dots, and the magic behind the process of long division. Dividing a number n by some number a is really just a matter of identifying how many groups of size a can be made from a collection of n objects. For example, if we have a set of 24 dots and we'd like to divide those 24 dots into groups of three dots each, well, then we can proceed by circling groups of three dots until fewer than three dots remain. When we are finished, we'll count the number of groups that we have found and declare that this number is the result of dividing three into 24. As we can see, this procedure tells us that 24 dots divided by groups of three dots each results in a total of eight groups. In other words, 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. Let's look at another example. Consider the problem of dividing 12 into 28. Proceeding as before, we begin with a set of 28 dots and ask how many groups of size 12 can be formed. Well, as we can see, we can form two groups of 12 dots each before no more groups of size 12 exist. However, in this case, we do still have four dots remaining. We express this by saying that 28 dots divided by 12 is equal to two groups of 12 dots with a remainder of four dots. In other words, 28 divided by 12 is equal to two with a remainder of, of four. We could also use this method to divide 287 dots into groups of 12 dots each. Uh, of course, evaluating 287 divided by 12 in this manner can be both messy and time-consuming. For this reason, we offer an alternative approach. Rather than drawing 287 dots explicitly, let's begin by drawing three boxes. In the, uh, in the rightmost box, uh, we will begin drawing dots with the understanding that whenever 10 dots have been drawn, all of these dots will explode out of the box and be represented instead by a single dot in the middle box. In other words, one dot in the middle box represents 10 dots in the rightmost box. Then we will continue to draw dots in the rightmost box until another explosion occurs. As we can see, this procedure will produce 28 explosions and will leave seven dots in the rightmost box. In the same manner, each time we have 10 dots in the middle box, those 10 dots will explode into a single dot in the leftmost box. With 28 dots in the middle box, two such explosions will occur placing two dots in the leftmost box and leaving eight dots in the middle. Well, since each dot in the middle represents 10 dots on the right 
and each dot on the left represents 10 dots in the middle, it follows that each dot on the left represents a total of 100 dots. Therefore, the, the two dots on the left, together with the eight dots in the middle and the seven dots on the right, represent our group of 287 dots. We now want to divide these 287 dots into groups of 12. Well, 12 is represented by one dot followed by two dots. Therefore, we will look for pictures of one dot followed by two dots in our picture representation of 287. Beginning on the left, we see that we can find two such groups. Each of these represents 120 dots, since the one dot lives in the hundreds column and the two dots are in the tens column. Therefore, we have circled 240 dots thus far two groups of 120 dots each, with 47 dots remaining, which are represented by four dots in the tens column and seven dots in the ones column. Well, since our procedure tells us to circle groups of 12 dots until fewer than 12 dots remain, we will continue to look for groups of size 12. That is, we will continue to look for pictures of one dot followed by two dots. As we can see, we can find three such groups, and declare that of the 47 remaining dots, there are three groups of 12 dots each. This accounts for 36 of the 47 dots that remained after the previous step. As we can see, there are now 11 dots that remain. Well, because this number of dots is fewer than 12, our procedure of picture division is complete and we can now declare that there exist 23 groups of size 12 in our original collection of 287 dots, with a remainder of 11. That is, 287 divided by 12 is equal to 23, with a remainder of 11. As a final example, let's calculate 47,032 divided by 21. This will require the use of five boxes. Each dot in the rightmost box represents one dot. Each dot in the second box from the right represents 10, and so on until we arrive at the leftmost box where each dot represents 10,000. We're dividing by 21, so we're looking for pictures of two dots followed by one dot. Well, straight away, we find two such groups at the far left. Since the two dots appear in the ten thousands column and the one dot appears in the thousands column, each of these groups represents 21,000 dots of our total. Alternatively, we can think of this as 2,000 groups of 21 dots each. Therefore, we can declare that 47,032 divided by 21 is equal to a quotient of 2,000 with a remainder of 5,032. Well, since 5,032 is greater than 21, we have more work to do. As we continue to look for pictures of two dots followed by one dot, we can see that there are some groups of two dots in the next box, but no dots in the middle box to pair them with. This appears to be a roadblock, until we remember that each dot in the thousands box represents 10 dots in the hundreds box. Recognizing this, we can decide to unexplode one dot in the thousands box into 10 dots in the hundreds box. After performing this an explosion, we can find two pictures of two dots followed by one dot. This shows that there are two groups of size 2100 amongst the 5032 dots that remained after the previous step. Alternatively, we can think of this as 200 groups of 21 dots each. 
Now, this accounts for 4,200, 4,200, of those 5,032 dots, with 832 dots remaining. Continuing, we find that we can make three pictures of two dots, followed by one dot, before running out of dots in the tens column. This accounts for three groups of 210 dots each, or 30 groups of 21 dots. So we can now subtract 630 from the 832 dots that had remained after the last step. We can now say that 47,032 divided by 21 is 2,230 with a remainder of 202. Of course, 202 is still greater than 21, so we continue to look for pictures of two dots followed by one dot. The two dots that still remain in the hundreds box pose a problem since there are no dots remaining in the tens box to pair them up with. Well, we can rid ourselves of this dilemma by again recognizing that each of these dots in the hundreds box represents 10 dots in the tens box. Performing two anti-explosions empties the hundreds box and puts 20 dots in the tens box. This allows us to find two more pictures of two dots followed by one dot before exhausting the dots in the ones box. We can now perform another anti-explosion to provide more dots in the ones box to work with. We can now find seven additional pictures of two dots followed by one dot for a total of nine groups of 21 dots each. And subtracting these nine times 21 dots from the 202 remaining after the last step, that is, subtracting 189 from 202, shows us that 13 dots now remain. Now, since 13 is less than 21, we have now finished our procedure of picture division and can now declare that 47,032 divided by 21 is 2,239 with the remainder of 13. I first learned the idea of illustrating long division with exploding dots from my colleague, James Tanton, who champions this notion in a series of videos that he has made as part of the Global Math Project. His videos present a masterful demonstration of mathematical exposition, and his awesome, cool Aussie accent only adds to his entertaining presentation of joyous mathematics. You can find links to James's videos and to the Global Math Project in the description below. I'd like to encourage you to practice using picture division with exploding dots in order to solve long division problems that, well, until now you've probably only ever performed with a memorized mechanical procedure. I also encourage you to watch the Math Singer video that YouTube is about to recommend just for you. And please, consider subscribing to this channel so that you can be informed of all future Math Singer videos that are produced. Thank you for your attention throughout this romp through picture division with exploding dots. I'll see you in the next video.